Chapter 2, Part 1, Curiosity, Symptoms. Oh my goodness, that was close. I hope the guards don't find the sewer. Oh, what is this place? I hope I find Mr. Midnight soon. Dear, your arm is gone. Good thing you're not bleeding. Anything else here for us? There's lots of stuff. I can make something under this. It looks like a door. I remember something funny. A very old uncle tried to blow out one of these. He farted all his gases out because it was so hard to blow. Don't you hate when that happens? Um, is this, is this a, a life-sized ant? What this thing is massive. What is also this thing? Wow, this is a really big insect. It sounds like a pig. Oh, wow. You really are a big ant. Who's there? Are, are you, are you real? No. Ah. You always ask the same thing. Always. Uh, always? What do you mean by always? No, of course I'm real. Where did you come from? Oh, I escaped the mental hospital, but please don't tell anybody. I won't tell, don't worry. But what are you doing here? Really bad things happened to me, sir. But now I'm looking for my cat. Hmm. My cat, you say? Yes, sir. A black cat with very big yellow eyes. Mr. Midnight. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, girl. Oh, so you haven't seen it? It happens the cat was eaten, chewed up and swallowed. Eaten? What do you mean? The black cat that came towards me in a hurry. I catch it. I gave it to my beetle pig. That's what that thing is. My beetle pig is hungry. Oh, my poor beetle pig hasn't eaten any food in days. Blueberry time passed by. And we ate them all. What's blueberry time? Stop it. Can't you see? Mr. Midnight is the only friend I have. Please tell me you're joking. Oh, little girl, don't cry. I can sing for you if you like. Uh, rather not. What will I do now? You don't know how it feels to be alone. I do, yes. I'm the last one alive. Let me help you, yes. How could you possibly help me? The digestion is not so fast, you know. Maybe he's still alive inside the beetle pig. Should I do something like make the beetle pig vomit? Kill the beetle pig. He is also the only friend I have left. But I need the meat. Kill your beetle pig friend? Uh, I can do it. Yes. Do it. You can kill the beetle pig. And I, Antonio the Greatest, shall eat the meat. This is going in a very odd direction. I didn't see that plot twist coming. The only items we have are a crayon and a door. I don't think we can kill the beetle pig with that. We need to go find something good. What's over here to the left? There's an owl up here. What kind of bird are you? It's it's a barn owl. Oh, hedgehog. Look at the cute little look at the feeties. Oh, so cute. Oh, there's there's an axe over here. Let's go grab this. We'll need this. Whoa. The terrible axe, I will be a warrior and savior of things. Say that to the beetle pig. Well, for Mr. Midnight. I don't blame it. I don't blame it. Come here, buddy. I know, I know. Oh, come on. Maybe we have to like plump it up and slow it down or something. Hold on. I'm going to go all the way back. First and foremost, let's use the pills back here. Hi there. By there? Where are you going? Oh, look, a key. Oh, they are not happy about it. Curiosity be damned. Damn you, curiosity. Oh, I like that I'm curious. Otherwise, how will you learn things? Anyway, why won't you let me take the key? What are you? What is the right question? But why would be more appropriate? I don't have time to chat, sir. I want the key, that's all. Oh, but that key isn't ours. And it's not yours for sure. Please just give it to me. I want to know what door it opens. We couldn't care less. The affection towards you is simply none. You're very honest. I like that. I'm a person. Fran, pleased to meet you. Interesting. Tell us more. I have a cat. Well, I had one. He's missing now. I have to find him. Really? Can I have the key now? Look. Person, Fran, we came from the south, flying as always. And one of us got curious about this key. Then, all of us got stuck here. 
And because of our long hair, we can't get loose. So, you're also curious. Can I help you? We usually get stuck on trees, but we have something to fix that. A beautiful comb to comb our hair every time we get stuck. Give me the comb and I can fix you. But there's a problem. A filthy thief took our comb and now we're stuck forever. If you find the thief and the comb, you'll get the key. Deal? Yes, but what does he look like? It's a rat. A filthy narcissist rat. He took the comb to make himself beautiful. We couldn't do much, so he ran away with it. Please find it and free us from curiosity. I'll try my best. We'll be here, waiting. Ooh, little creepos. Get away from those guys. So who's the thief? What does the sign say? Make an entry. A well. I could try to open it and see what's inside. Sure, let's try the axe on it. Okay, bye, Owl. Did you drop a feather for us? Oh, oh, a feather. Tickle, tickle. I like it. I'll keep it. What a joke. There's no hole inside. Wait, why? Tickle, our ant friend, Antonio. Tickle, tickle. Ah, the threat is great. Great. Sir, wake up now. I think the beetle pig doesn't like the idea of being killed. Ah, I see. Well, that's completely normal, isn't it? Yes, but what should I do then? You have to give him the special berries. The blueberries! Hmm. But there are no berries in the woods. I shouldn't say this to you, but I have the right connections. They live inside my house. They have blueberries. My house is in that direction. Be careful. Oh, thank you, sir. Okay, do we have a new area unlocked? Yes, we do. Uh, anything good over here? Just the bird and the bridge? Keep going this way. Look at this Shrek hut over here. Look at this. What is that, a little mushroom? Uh, there's no smoke coming out the chimney. Let's go inside. This must be the ant's house. It seems to be open, but very stuck. Wait, can I just break it down? <laughs> we totally broke his door. What is this? Oh, a door handle to handle big problems. I'll keep it. Wait, can I combine these? Oh, it's perfect, but the handle won't stay on. Can I chop this a little bit? No, no, no. Okay, well, we'll come back to that. Let's go inside. Right off the bat there, there's glue. Let's grab that. I shouldn't take other stuff, but I want super glue for the attachment. So super glue, the handle, some glue on the handle. Where should I paste it? Back on the door. Boom. I made a door. I wonder where it will take me. Are we not replacing Antonia's door that we busted down? The queen of meat. Why? Why is this? What is this? Is this like spicy ant prawn? Mm, what's this? Underpants? What a cute little lamp. Why can't we take some of these things? Even if I want to take the meat, I can't reach it. Ooh, can we reach it now? Nice, there's one meat. Stinky and raw, meat for the eaters. Can I take more meat? I already got one piece of meat. I won't touch that again. Fair enough. Oh, the little pine cone gremlins. I thought they were dookies. No, no, they're pine, they're looking at me. <laughs> I like that they'll just like stop and look at me for a second. Like, wait a minute, somebody's watching us. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Sir, you look so angry. Wow, you're very rare. The blueberries. Ow, that hurts. Okay, the pinecone guards are guarding our precious blueberries back here. How do we make a trade? Lady pinecone, what are you cooking? Give me the blueberries. Stop it, you bad pinecone. I need those blueberries. Papa pinecone, mama pinecone, and baby pinecone. Oh. Baby pinecone, so sweet. I knocked it over. And can I grab the blueberries? Why Why do I keep wrecking this little baby pinecone? Here comes your mommy to the rescue. Okay, well, let, let's leave for a second. Let's leave. Let's uh, take some pills. This is a very different environment. What is this? I'm not taking that bag. Not with all those ants on it. Oh my goodness, a pest exterminator and he's dead. I want this bag. Okay, we have to get rid of the ants. Um, Can I throw this meat around somewhere? Yeah, go for the, yes. It worked. Now this bag is mine, examine. This bag has an anti-bug sign. Hmm, the bag is open. Use? Whoa, whoa, whoa. A rat trap and some sort of card. Let's look at the card. It's an exterminator card. So, let's get out of this. Let's go in here for a second. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're all looking at me like, don't do it. Don't do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh, that wasn't so bad. You think it's for Papa? Oh, wait, no. Oh, go for the blueberries. 
Yeah. D this? Oh, get wrecked. I got you. Sorry, sir, but I really need those blueberries. Yoink. Oh, now the mom is hitting me. Bad mama. Knock you over. Grab the blueberries. Yes, they fell right for our trap. Get out of here. We just completely ruined their lives. All for a couple of blueberries. The special blueberries for the beetle pig so I can kill it. So dark. Oh, hi again. Hello. Bye. We keep seeing that person. Wait, let's take the pills out here. That's not so bad. It's pretty much the same Z's. Oh, Mr. Midnight. Oh, Mr. Midnight. Mm. Bip, bip. Look, friend, I'm in danger. I can't grab him with anything. Reach out under my handle. Oh, no. Find me alive. Find me dead. Bip, bip. Okay. Blueberries for the beetle pig. Okay. He's probably eaten. Let's, uh, let's do this. There was a, a rat inside. What? You're not my cat. No, miss. You saved me from misery. Good for you, but I was hoping to find somebody else. I assume you're feeling disappointed. Who are you looking for? My cat. My lovely cat, Mr. Midnight. Oh, Miss Lady. I'm not very fond of cats, you know. I wonder why. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? You seem to get in trouble often. Wait, maybe he's my cat. Oh, my lady. If he is, then he's the one in trouble now. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? Why? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not far from here. And he just skedaddles away. Let's follow him. Hey, buddy. Here we are. Somebody took him, miss. They just disappeared. Oh, my goodness. Could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed them. If there's anything else I can do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Excuse me, did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb. The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Give it to me right away. All right, then. But can you please comb my hair first? Yeah, sure, why not? Yes, I can comb your hair. It's so happy. Look at the joy in it. Thank you, my lady. You're very kind. And now we have the comb. Nice. Let's get out of here. Go all the way back to here. Activate the pills. Give the comb to these weird hanging heads. Here is your beautiful comb, misters. We're just combing all the knots out. Oh, Fran. The person finally did it. Hope the key opens the door you want to open. Now we fly south at last. Goodbye. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny misters. Have a nice trip. It's our key now, but what is it for? I got the key. We want this key, but we don't really have a... Maybe for the door? Hmm, wait a minute. The golden key from the tree. Can I put this door on something? Wait a minute. Can I put this door here? Can I then use the key on the door? It worked. Woohoo! What a curious little door. I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight, are you here? What is that? Chapter 2, Part 2. Double Personality. Oh my goodness. Where am I? Huh? What's this? A hat? Mr. Midnight? Oh no! Your head! Kitty? Wait just a second. This isn't my kitty. What a weird hat. Anyways, I have to find Kitty. I hope you're here somewhere. So where are we at now? I see like honey up here. Can we take this? Honey bear, you taste fabulous. Mmm, yummy. Cookies in all flavors and colors. Flour makes me sneeze, but that's a funny feeling. <gasps> King Leo's baking soda. This always makes the biggest cupcakes. It's mine now. Can we take the knife? A sharpie, shiny knife. You might be useful. Yes, it will be. Spatula. It sounds like Dracula, but in spa. And of course, this creepy painting over here. Mr. Midnight? Those girls. They took my kitty. And then over here is the bed that we woke up in. And there's a, is that a note? I won't lay down on that thing. Welcome home, beautiful kitten. We hope you like your new bed. Be nice and eat your food. Love, Clara and Mia. Anything for us? I don't like beans that much. The bag smells funny. I'm not going to touch it. Ooh, salt, a very good ingredient. What an odd little thing. It looks like a seed. 
I won't take somebody else's food, not all of it anyways. Pepper, always good for seasoning the soup. The sink, it works, there's running water. We'll leave it off for now. I have matches to light up the darkness or just for funsies. We have a good collection of items already. What's over here? Lots of creepy photos on the wall. Look at this. Look at that stare. Their faces look familiar, but I'm not sure. Could it be? A vase to put some flowers in. It has ashes inside. Oh no. Who's? Keep going this way. Hello. Hello, ghost girl. Oh my goodness, the smell. Hi. Who are you? They're not talking back at all. Can't you hear me? I'm Fran. Oh, nothing to do with us. Let's put, whoa, hi. Bye. Oh, a record player. I wonder if it works. Then there's, is, there's, is that our ant friend? The blueberry tree volume two? Antonio the greatest? Oh, wait a minute. Is that the big ant from the woods? It could be him. Only a bit younger. Jance. I think I saw this name earlier. Ridiculous. Oh, a typewriter. And it works. I guess I could write something, but there isn't any paper. And I don't think I have anything for that, right? I don't. Is that Mr. Midnight up here? Many tiny paintings. And there's a cat. When I grow up, I'll have lots of cat paintings on my walls. And other things, too. But I'm not growing up yet. The stairs end in a wall. Wait, they're fake stairs? Are we in like a dollhouse? What is this? Let's go back over here. Let's try these stairs. These ones work, though. A broom to fly away. Or just to clean up. What is creepy paintings? A monster who likes goats? The drawer opened. Let me see what's inside. Black candles to light up the darkness. Those look great. This drawer's empty. Same with this one. The sisters, they look alike. A red rose in a painting, huh? And there's a, like a, a chain here for an attic. Oh, a ladder. Perhaps Mr. Midnight is up there. We're gonna come back to that. Let's go over here first. This was a mistake. I shouldn't have come here. Look at this. A mirror, but why isn't my reflection here? Ugh, it's that monster and so much blood. Ugh, these toys are so ugly. Hello, doll. Who caught you? Hmm, the perfume smells like teenagers. Tweezers to pick up things that my little hands can't. That is everything except for this really, wait, wait, up here there's a keyhole. A little keyhole. I wonder if there's a key for this one. Hi again. Time to go in the attic. Oh, it's super dark up here. Mr. Midnight, where are you? I can't see very well. We have matches though. Wait, is this a switch? There we go. I saw that move. Oh. Oh, hello, little babies. Who sewed you two together? It looks like it hurts. Don't cry, all right? He should smile and be nice. It's time to sleep. Can I put them to bed? Oh, get out of here. Oh, God, that sound, though. Ugh. And now here's like two conjoined people, but they're super old. Oh, well, let's see this. The sisters. But if they're the sisters, why are they so old? They had the same jacket that I had on in the hospital. And then over here, we have a cage. Mr. Midnight, are you here, kitty? Meow. Oh my goodness, it's you, my beloved friend. I found you. Fran, is that really you? Oh dear, finally. Let me see you. It's me. Come closer, please. Let me see you. Oh, Fran, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you so very much. I had dreams about you. And here you are. Thank you for not giving up. I love you, my friend. Oh man, I love you too, Mr. Midnight. And I really missed you. Oh dear, Fran, how did you find this place? After those people took you away into the woods, I tried to follow them. But after a while, I got lost. My senses were too weak to track you. I tried to catch some food to recover, but something happened. Somebody took me and put me in this cage. Oh, my dear. I'll open this cage. We need to get to Aunt Grace. Fran, I'm very tired. I wish all this was just a bad dream. Everything's going to be fine. We just have to get out of here. Fran, can I ask you something? Sure, Mr. Midnight. What is it? Did you feel my presence in your dreams? Yes, I did. You told me to take the medicine and find you. What medicine, Fran? It wasn't really me talking to you. I think somebody was helping us get together. Every time I had dreams about you, I felt the presence of something else. Really? What kind of presence? From what I felt, it wasn't human. But it was really peaceful and kind. That's the real magic. It's great to have somebody else taking care of us. Fran, did you hear that? Oh, I'll see what it is. I'll try and find the key to free you, all right? I love you. Let's leave. Okay, next step is to go around the house. Wait a minute. Oh, you scared me. I thought nobody was living here. There you are. We were waiting for you. Where's your head? My, my head, my head is in the right place. It's you. 
the precious being from the other world. Who would ever believe us? I'm very confused now, ladies. What are you talking about? Cranbow. That's your name, right? And your mom and dad died tragically. It was very brutal, right? And now you really want to know who killed them, right? Slow down. How do you know all this? We simply have to know. We are part of this world. But don't be sad. Bad things happen to all of us. All the time. I wish I was at home with mommy and daddy now. Don't wish for things that can't be done. Find solutions and answers. I should do that. But mommy and daddy will never come back. Drink some tea and eat some cake. It will make you feel better. Thank you, but I really need to know... Who told you these things about me? Are you scared, little Fran? A little. It's odd the way I came here. And this conversation is making me confused. You haven't asked us about your cat yet. Mr. Midnight. That's very odd for a girl who loves her cat more than anything else in the world. Yet you look so calm after finding him in a cage. Hungry and scared. Shouldn't it be us trembling in fear of you? I'm not calm. I just wanted to introduce myself. I'm not a rude person. You want him back? Yes, please. I really want to have him back. He's my best friend. Before we set him free, tell us how you came here. It's a long story. I escaped from a place. A very ugly place. They opened the heads of children to find out what's wrong with them. Bill told me a secret and I was clever enough to find the way out. And then I came into the woods and met a giant ant. And I killed a bug and it was terrible. And then I met a rat who wanted to get his hair done. And then I made a door. And that door took me here. When I entered the door, something happened. I don't remember anything else. Oh, and I saw a real pinecone family. That was before I came here. They live in Mr. Antonio's house. They like berries. Oh, and I saw a flying insect that got stuck in trees because they have long hair. That was also in the woods. And now here I am, looking for Mr. Midnight. That was some adventure. How old are you, Fran? I'm 10 years old, but I'm going to turn 11 soon. And you? We're 16 years old. Much older than you. So you have to obey us. I don't want to obey you. You can't tell me what to do. You haven't even asked our names. That's not polite. And you shouldn't wander around someone's house without permission. Are you stupid? A stupid little girl with no family at all? Stop that, please. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Are you crying? Because if you are, you'll get in trouble. If you don't do exactly as we say, you and your cat will die. Do you understand? No, you don't scare me. Free my cat now. You idiot. You asked for it. If you don't do what we ask, bad things will happen to your cat. We will force you to kill him with your own hands. Oh no, please. I'll do whatever you ask. Good. Now listen to us carefully. We need you to perform a magical spell on us. Do you like magic? Yes. And he also did magic. But she had no idea how to actually do it. Anyway, this magic is very powerful and dangerous. Here's the recipe. Be careful and precise. Otherwise, terrible things can happen. Wow, here's a laundry list of things. Summon the old lost body. Lost in darkness. Lost in tears. Your body becomes a lie through the hand of one angel that decides to bring you sorrow. You will need 1. The heart of a frog. 2. The head of a young virgin. Ugh. 3. Hair and blood from a black cat. 4. A pentagram made of ashes. And 5. The burnt body of a fox. This must be cooked all together inside a pot or cauldron with plenty of water. When you're about to drink the potion, repeat these words. Why can't you do it yourselves? We can't do it. It would kill us. You see, we were like this before. We used to be two different people in two different bodies. But why are you like this now? One night, a long time ago, something happened before us. We thought it was an angel, but it wasn't. He decided that we should spend eternity together. He cursed us to be like this. We never understood why. We have a spell to bring him back, but we'll do that later. When we're no longer attached to each other. And show him that he's powerless, and he will regret it. That sounds terrible. I'll try my best to help you. We're going to gather some things you'll need for the ritual. And because you've been a very nutty girl. You won't even be able to talk to your cat. You'll have to wait until we come back. Oh, please let me talk to him. Let me give him some food. No! You can't. And Fran, do you see this key? Can you imagine what can be opened with it? Can you? You silly, silly girl. <laughs> and just waddle away. Look at Fran Bao always getting the short end of the stick. So we got some work to do. We got some stuff to collect, right? Let's go all the way back to... Who are you? 
It's him again. But I haven't taken my pills. How did we see him? Well, he opened the window. Thank you, but who is he? We're outside. It's a frog. Hey, you. Yes? Who's speaking? Me. I'm a toad. I have to tell you something. Uh, yes. What is it? You're in great danger. Don't trust the girls. Why do you say that? Look, girl. I'm a toad. And I know I can swim away from this place. But they won't let me. Every time I try to get out of here, I magically return. This house is like a huge magnet. A toad and a cat magnet. They love us. But not to give us love. Just to use us. Don't trust them. That's terrible. That's why my kitty is here then. They gave you a recipe for some kind of magic, right? How did you know that? Did you see the dead girl? Well, that could be you if you try to do it. She tried, but she did it wrong. Oh my goodness, I'll think of something else then. I'm not a clever toad. But if I were you, I would be creative. Huh, creative. I'll try my best. And girl, please save us all. I really want to get out of here. Don't we need the heart of a frog? Hold on, let's look at this. The very first ingredient is the heart of a frog. Technically, you can help me help you in this situation, Mr. Frog. Wait, what's this? Pink roses? Ow, I pricked my finger. Bad roses. A big, big rock. I'll leave it there. A long, woody plank. I can do something with it. We have so many items. Let's look at the pills out here, too, by the way, while we're here. Doubters need the truth on paper. What are they getting at with this? Doubters? I guess some people believe you when it's written down. Oh. My sister is trying to catch me, but I ran away. I'm scared. Would you help me? I have a monster inside my head. The twin is trying to catch the other twin? Is what I'm getting at here? Let's go back inside. So my original goal was to go all the way back here and now use the pills throughout the entire house and see if anything changes. That was a huge change. We're now in the bottom of a well. Oh, I see you're very comfortable there, little baby. You seem fresh. Are you still alive? Hello, little baby. What are you doing here? We can climb out of the well? Is that an item? What is that? A secret bottle with a secret inside. Can I throw the knife, maybe? Hmm. Oh, wait. No, we have to go all the way around. Can I jump this? I can't get... Oh, <gasps> we have the plank. Use the plank we just got, right? Let's try this piece of wood. Get all the way through here. Use the knife on the rope. Cut that down. Go all the way back. And grab this. Oh. Ah, that burned. Why? There's no fire. Ooh, can we tweezers it? Oh, I got the paper. This is so exciting. Oh, there's a completely different recipe here. Revealing the true soul. The world hides the truth from you. Work your soul through life and you will understand the purpose of this act. If you try to corrupt this essence, your soul will be hidden and never see the face of truth. To destroy an impure soul or give freedom to those who are trapped, you will need 1. Blood from the executor of the ritual, 2. 5 black candles, which we have, 3. Ashes to form a pentagram, which we have, 4. A uh, blue bloomed moonlight rose, 5. Salt and pepper, which we have, and six, hair from the person you want to be witch. Draw a pentagram with the ashes inside the black and white squares. Put a lighted black candle on every point of the pentagram. Fill a cauldron with water and put the other elements in it. Boil, pour over the person you want to be witch and repeat these words while you walk around the pentagram. All right, so we're done here, right? The frog died, it's not good to eat bottles. Let's get out of here. So we have a whole completely different recipe we need to follow, which I think is the proper one. The good recipe, it seems. These here. A moonlight rose. It won't work. Um, I have nothing else to cut them. I have nothing else. What is this thing? A rare seed. I wonder what kind of flower will grow from it. Oh, can we, can we plant this? It says use moonlight seed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Use the seed on the moonlight reflection. Oh, it works. Can I take it? This really is a nice blue rose. And I think that totally counts. Yep. So all we need now is blood and hair. Let's go back in. Oh, no. Oh, no. We can definitely use the knife on ourselves. Ouch, that hurt. But now I have some of my own blood. Okay. Now we just need hair from the person you want to be witch. So how do we get hair from one of the twin girls? Can I use any of this? Oh, it works. 
Am I writing over top of the, the old recipe? You will need hair from your head. Do I, hold on, do I not have to go talk to the demons? There they are. Bran, here are the materials you'll need. Have you studied the ritual? Yes, but I need more time. I can't remember all the words. Well, learn them fast. Let us know when you're ready. Wait, we need to talk. We need to talk. I need hair also. <gasps> Girl, I think you need help getting rid of that bag. I can do that for you. But I may need it. No, you don't. Trust me. If we want to get out of here, that bag must disappear. I'll take it. You didn't see me. Bye. Okay, now let's talk to them and ask for some hair. We're waiting for you, Fran. Here, I need one more thing. Look, ladies, there's something missing. I couldn't find your hair in the bag. Hair, you say? No hair is needed. We know that. But look for yourself. It's written down there in the recipe. That's true. How could we miss that? All right. And there we go. We tricked them. There. Now get prepared. I'll let you know when I'm ready. And then she has this mischievous look on her face. Look at this. <laughs> Those eyes. She's like, ah. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's go make the recipe. Look at this. There's a cauldron right here. Okay, I'll keep this to cook a lovely dinner for my kitty. Yeah, for the cat, sure. Now here's the thing. The water does work. Nice. Water, water in the pot. Ready to cook. Let's go back to this room. Use matches. There we go. We have fire. Throw the cauldron on. Excellent. Now let me see. What's left to do? Let's see. We need the ashes down the ground, right? On the floor here. Perfect. Wow, this worked out great. Very nicely done, Fran. Uh, the next step was candles, I think. I put one candle here and the others over there. All right, let's do this. I'm going to get my kitty back. Hope it works. It should work. They're evil. Let's light the candles. There we go. Pretty fire. Candles lit. Um, Now, do I need to add the hair and stuff to the stew? Now the hair. Good, good. And the blood. There goes my blood. I hope it tastes good. Tra -la -la. The rose. Goodbye, Blue Rose. Into the pot now. Salt and pepper goes in there. Into the magic soup. Here we go. I should show the girls that the potion is ready. Oh, it's time. Wait, turn up the water. Save the utility bills. Keep going. All right, you ready? Throw it on them. Everything is ready. Let's go to the kitchen. Good. Let's go. I have no idea. They're standing inside the circle. Please sit down and close your eyes, ladies. They have no idea what's coming. Aha! Uh -huh. Take that! And now I'll say the words. And I can't pronounce these. We're saying words right now. And we're saying more words. It continues. Wait a second. That isn't the right spell. You tricked us. It's already too late. The damage has already been done. I thought we were just going to control them. I didn't, I didn't think we are going to like... Toast them. They did leave us this nice little key, though. What have I done? Oh, my goodness. This isn't right. Okay, now we have the key. Let's go free our cat. Although we are leaving the candles unattended. Upstairs we go. Mr. Midnight, we're here for you. And there he is. Free our little kitty cat. What is it, Fran? Open the cage. I can't. The key doesn't fit. Did you see another keyhole somewhere? Oh, we did. I don't know. I'll have to look around. I'll be waiting. Hurry up. Okay, we know exactly where it is. It's in here. Use the special key right up here. The key was for this keyhole. And what's that? A puzzle? Oh, no. Oh, no. Not more puzzles. A mechanical thing. It rotates. It may be some sort of engine. We can move the gears around with this. Aha! It's all coming together now. So, let's see. There's one, two, three, four, five... Five gears. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, how do we... How, we have to incorporate this gear, right? It only makes sense. It only makes sense. That looks... That looks right. That one definitely looks correct there. Maybe one, two, three here. Ooh. And then this one... Okay, hold on. I have an idea, chat. This is how I... I interpreted what we wanted, chat. Oh. Yes! After 84 years. Oh, we finally did it. That's creepy. What's this? Two skeletons? They look kind of small, like me. I can imagine who these two were. Then I'm not a killer. Sister Promise. B. Clara and Mia Buhalmet. Promise to revenge the unfair destiny. Itward. Decided for us. Itward. We've seen that word before in chapter one. 
With blood and tears, we promise that we will kill him and bring our bodies back. We won't stand this any longer. Even though we are sisters, we hate each other and we will always hate each other. Nothing will ever change that. But now, with our bodies attached to each other, we can't complete our task. The strongest will live forever and the weakest will die. And then in the bottom corner it says, Mother must die here. Oh dear, this must be the key to the cage, finally. They also have the yellow pills here that we saw in the asylum. Duotine. My pills are called Duotine too. We have the two dolls stitched together here. A two-headed doll, it must be really old. A pink rosette, pretty hair decoration. Oh, the sisters have a huge scar in the middle. That's scary. Maybe there were two different people after all. We have the key. Let's go save our kitty friend. Where is Mr. Midnight? There you are, buddy. Here's the key. Let's save him. I think this is the key. It worked. My dear kitty, it worked. Come out. Let me hug you. Aw, reunited at last. Look at us. We're so happy. Oh, this feels so good. I'm free, Fran. My good friend. No, my dear. We have to get out of here. Yes, let's go. Time to leave. And he follows us around now. What a cute little cat. Time to go. Maybe we go at the window. I did it, Sir Toad. The girls are gone. That's perfect. Now I can leave this place and return to my family. I want to do that too, sir. I finally found my kitty. I just want to go home now and be with Aunt Grace. But how will you get out of here? There's no boat. I thought you could help us get out of here. I would love to help you. I'm too tiny. Even though my body is quite malleable, it would be impossible to carry you both to the other side. Let me think about it. Don't leave us just yet, please. Hmm. Do we actually use the baking soda on him? Take this, Toad. It may help. I'm not a bakery bun. But you're all slimy and soft like dough. You're right. It may work. Here it goes. <laughs> He's huge. It worked. It really did. I'm so big and I feel gorgeous. You are gorgeous, Mr. Toad. Great. Let's go. Come, Mr. Midnight. Sure, Fran. I only have one complaint. That giant toad is staring at me. <laughs> what are you talking about? He wants to help us. That's all. All right. If he tries anything, I'll scratch him. That's okay. But try not to hurt him too much while we're on it. We're sitting on him. The water is deep and we don't know what kind of creatures are in there. If we fall in the water, we could die, kitty. No, oh, I promise I won't scratch the toad. Let's go. Hey, girl. Before we go, I forgot to give you something. I saw you in this picture, so I thought it was yours. Hey, it's our photo again. And this book with, was with it too. It says Leon. Oh, Toad, you found my family photo. Thank you very much. I thought I'd lost it forever, but the book isn't mine. Oh, well, take the book as a gift. It's always healthy to read. It has many pictures. Wow, thank you. I like pictures. Well, let's go now. Here we go. Hold on tight. That That's definitely a vibe, isn't it? Oh no. Oh no. It's Frogger. Um, bye. Oh, there we were. That was really close. We need something to hop onto. I need something to hop onto. I waited. I risked it. There we go. Oh, there's more? Uh oh, was this a mistake? Was this a. <laughs> We're good. We're fine. We're fine. Um, let's wait it out. Oh, I could have won right there. Oh, no. Where am I? <laughs> I'm dead. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Get to the first one. Don't dilly dally. Here we go. Get the yellow leaf. Nice. A plank. That one was easy. Yellow leaf. Was close. I'm gonna wait. Nice. No problem. Here we are. Jump off me now. Let's go, kitty. Well, now it's time to go home. I hope you find your family soon, Sir Toad. Thank you. You too. Farewell. Goodbye, sir. And thank you for the ride. Fran, what should we do now? Find the way back home, kitty. Do you see the sky? It's dawn, and really soon all the scary things will disappear. Ah, 
I'm so hungry and sleepy. I want to go home now. Me too, kitty. We'll find the way. I'll do my best to help you, my dear. Let's go. What's the first thing you'll do when you get home? Eat, of course. Eat until I fall asleep. And you? I think I would do the same. Classic cat thing to do. Eat until you have a coma. Oh dear, this bridge looks pretty scary. Oh, friend, come on. We have to go home. There's no time to be afraid now. Yes, but I'm a bit afraid of heights. Um, uh, I can go first, all right? Then you follow me. All right, kitty. You're so sweet. I'll be right behind you. Look at him go. Look at him go. This is no big deal. Just don't get ahead of him. This is a really long bridge. Fran, wait. Oh. He's back. He broke the bridge. It was a setup the whole time. Oh my dear, I can't hold on anymore. I don't want to die. At least, at least Mr. Midnight is safe. You won't die, my friend. Come on, you can do it. Jump. All right, here I go. Oh, isn't so bad. I got you. He saved us. Oh, Fran, no. Mr. Midnight, and he jumped after us. Don't be afraid, Fran. We always fall. And after the pain, we will always rise. Oh, dear Aunt Grace, don't ever leave me. Don't cry, my little girl. Your heart is pure, but your mind is tormented. You have to stay and walk your own path. Please, Aunt Grace, why won't you just take me out of here? Please. You're going to leave me all alone, like my mother and father did. I'm sorry, my dear Fran. You will understand soon. Aunt Grace, no, don't go. Please. Oh no. Fran, it's time for your new medicine. No. Oh, what happened? Where am I? Fran? Where are you? Her dresses are on the, on the tree. We're playing as Mr. Midnight now. These are Fran's stockings. See, there's a little paw print down here. It's so cute. Click on the dress. Ah, what an ugly tree. I scratch you, evil thing. Wait, he has eyes. Kitty, Kitty, stop it. What are you talking about? Fran, my darling, is that you? It can't be. What is it, my dear? Of course it's me. Who else would I be? Fran, you are a tree. Don't be silly. Help me get up. Wait just a second. Where are my hands? Why can't I move? I'm telling you, my dear, you've turned into a tree. What? But how? Oh, my dear, this is the end of the line. The big monster did this. I know it, Kitty. He won't let us go home. I hope he doesn't come back. He was very scary. He always comes back. I think I remember him from that night. The night mom and dad died. Kitty, I don't want to talk about it. I just want to go home. But you are a tree, my friend. A tree. I can't carry you all the way back home. Besides, I'm not sure where we are either. Am I going to die, Kitty? Tell me. Please don't say that, Fran. Don't leave me. But I feel so weak. What are these? Hamka igni mi huara. Koke koke igrunana. Pasku halani. Igni jugle vanti. Uh, don't, don't poke. Ah, be careful, sir. Why are you attacking me? Could you please tell me where I am, sir? Hola koke hala. 
stop it. I'll scratch you. Hola, run my igni. What are they saying? Oh my kitty, why is this happening to us? Hola, stop attacking me, please. I mean no harm. Hola, igni vanti. Kitty, help me. Find my purse, please. Maybe I can do something about this. I'll see what I can do, Fran. What is, what is this? What is this crank? Oh, there's the purse. I've seen similar mechanics. They circulate. There we go. A little drawbridge. Wait a minute. How do we make it stay? How long does it stay there? But as soon as I go towards it, I see my friend's purse. I have to reach it somehow. Oh, what's this? Oh, I'll take this stone. It's shiny. Look at our little inventory here. Oh, can I not jam the rock in here? There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're fine. Grab the purse. I got the purse only because I'm the best. So humble, Mr. Midnight. Fran, my darling, I got the purse. That's amazing. You're the best, Mr. Midnight. Now show this gentleman who is attacking me my family picture. Maybe he understands what a human is. Well, I really hope he does. Okay, sure. Family photo to the walking vegetable. Oh, num. Ni haka. Ah, runma. Paskin uta. Wait, why, why are you taking the... Where, where are we going? Where are you taking me, Sir Vegetable? Are you taking me in the boat? Oh my god. They want to help you, friend. I can feel it. Uk, runma, ipo. Don't be afraid, my friend. Kitty, stop them. Please, don't leave me. I'll be right here with you. Galaba, galaba. And we just flew away with the vegetables. <laughs>